hey what's going on youtube this is cj welcome back to another quick update on the be easy reef and in this video we're going to be dealing with aquaforce life source and good old purple stuff also known as coralline algae now we got this harvested straight from my buddy rodney's 265 gallon reef and that is going to be the way we are going to see the tank so coralline algae why am i doing it you know what's the reason well mainly i want to introduce this as another natural part of my biome and my tank and more importantly as this takes over space on the rock it also takes over spaces that nuisance algaes and other things can try to grow onto and i would rather have you know coralline algae doing that instead of dealing with other types of algae so and you know i like the look of the purple stuff on the rock now the negative side is going to be it is going to consume additional alkalinity calcium you know and uptake nutrients in the system that's part of it but ultimately I'm happy to introduce this to the tank. Now, this would have naturally found its way in through cleanup crew shells and different maybe frag plugs, but I'm gonna cheat the system, you know, crunch this up in a little tiny pieces in a cup, and then we're gonna disperse that in the tank. So for those curious, uh, this is Aquaforce Life Source. First time ever using it, and I really wasn't aware of it until recently, and I figured, you know, this is another product that I can try on the Bee Easy Reef. So I had them send this out to me now it recommends dosing it 27 grams per gallon so it's meant to be dispersed into your water column i've heard some people using this in their sump like miracle mud which is something i've used before but i'm going to follow the directions on the package and actually dose a little less than what's on the package and see how it responds in the the easy reef so you know the reason i'm doing this is i love the idea of something naturally collected from the ocean you know helping the biome introducing beneficial bacterias you know minerals just anything that is going to help the system i'm willing to try it and see how it works now i'm well aware of some of the things people may think about this as far as uh, the potential metals inside of it you know with it being naturally collected sometimes you get the good you get the bad uh, you know it's from the ocean so you're gonna have to be able to take the good with the bad with anything from the ocean but you know with all my homework i've done on this i still feel safe doing it and we're gonna introduce this to the reef. So for those that are wondering what it looks like, it looks like mud, guys. There's nothing really complicated about it. It looks like just straight mud. It does have a distinct smell to it, and it is wet. So we'll make sure we keep the bag sealed up. And as far as mixing it and how we're dosing it to the tank, I'm just gonna use a little bit for now, because uh, I can tell the way this is gonna cloud this water. It shouldn't take much for it to coat the tank and hopefully get the desired effect or you know benefits of this aquaforce life source so we're gonna get this mixed up and then we're gonna get it dosed and see how it goes all right so the first order of business is going to be seeding the tank with the homemade be easy core line sauce <laughs> i don't know whatever you want to call it i just crushed it up as much as i could mix some tank water with it and the goal was to get the small fine particulates into the water column and then whatever chunks i could not break up we'll just mix those into the sand further seeding the substrate and everything else you know the goal is to have this grow on the rock work but you know it's probably going to cover the walls and pumps and all of that and we will have to add that to the maintenance routine to make sure that it's not unsightly in places i don't want it but that's okay because the ultimate goal is going to be accomplished we'll just have to give it time now when it comes to the aqua forest life source mix it a little bit more with some tank water and then we got this added to the tank now of course they you know recommend adding it to a higher flow area and my system i have flow everywhere so we just kind of split it between we added it to the right side first where the ai orbit pump is the gyro flow pattern and then we added the rest to where the mp40 is on the left side to further you know disperse it in the tank now of course i could not get all the mud broken up into the water i just got tired of mixing it so the rest just kind of went into the tank into the substrate where the sand is and we're just kind of mix it in you know with it being mud it will eventually break down and further you know seed the tank into the water column and hopefully give us the benefits that we need so for those that are wondering you know how much did it cloud the water i would say you know it's to be expected yeah, i don't think it is actually as bad as i thought i can still see the corals i can pretty much still see all the fish and everything else and as far as immediate impacts fish definitely were not digging it <laughs> these guys were like man the water was just clear so they're kind of just hiding out but nothing really 
concerning as far as the fish nothing really concerning as far as the corals as you guys can see you know close up close and personal just cloudy water still see pileups still see movement don't really see any corals retracting you know zoanthids are not closing up it just looks like they are just enjoying the show for now so we're going to kind of document this throughout the video and throughout this tank's life as i use this aquaphor's life source so let's go ahead and fast forward to the next afternoon you know we dosed the life source around 9 or 10 p.m the night before next afternoon tank is looking right back to normal there was a slight haze on the glass as far as a dusting uh, left over probably from the mud particles just clean that off with a scraper and we're back to normal and as far as the pumps didn't notice anything crazy you know i've seen people say as far as pumps having pieces of uh, particulates or anything stuck on them i didn't notice anything wrong as far as my mp40s or my ai orbit all of that looked okay everything's flowing like normal and as far as the corals they look like normal too now this was the next day after dosing it but as you fast forward in time a couple weeks later definitely a little difference as far as the fluffiness of the corals and the overall coloration and look of the tank so i can't say you know 100 that the life source caused this it could just be the tank maturing but i will tell you as time goes and i continue to use this aquaforce life source we're definitely going to get the answer as far as if it's benefiting or not now let's take a second and think about seeding the coralline algae you guys see it i seen it today just like you are and we definitely have coralline in the tank showing up so that definitely was a mission accomplished it's going to start off showing up on the power heads little specks here and there and then eventually it's going to show up on the rock work back walls and we can say we successfully seeded the be easy reef with the coralline algae the good old purple stuff so you know let the gains begin on managing that as far as where it spreads and as far as the tank today this is what it looks like guys no more old footage no more you know this week later or that week later this is the current state of the bez reef live in action after around three weeks or so of the aquaforce life source once again only using one dose of it and the tank looks fantastic guys coloration is great the consumption in the system is going crazy i'm gonna have to start trying to deal with that <laughs> in different ways uh, we'll talk about that in a future video but as far as overall health and look of the tank it looks great guys so as far as using the aquaforce life source i would say i'm probably going to do another dose of it maybe next week uh, maybe one dose per month and just kind of see how it goes and continue to manage how the tank's looking and just documenting as we go so what's the final word on it to be continued is what i'll say but as far as immediate negative impacts I haven't noticed any and the tank is still just kind of doing what it's doing so for those who have used this before interested in your thoughts below and did it work for you or did it not or if you're interested in it you know leave me a comment as far as questions you may have on what you may want me to document and other than that it's kind of going to be a short and sweet video just kind of showing some of the things i'm doing to the be easy reef as we go so as always hey you guys can like comment subscribe you guys keep doing what y'all do y'all be easy and happy reefing peace